maybe I'll just talk a little bit about the, the food plan project um, and explain what, what we're doing and, and what this is kind of about, what, how this event fits into that. Um, and then we can talk about, um, you know, how, how, how we can all kind of raise some of these issues and have input into that process. Um, so the Food Sovereignty Alliance is a collection of activists, farmers, academics, community organisations who are working on various elements of the food system. So whether that be from like sustainable agriculture to... Um, Sorry, I decided to interrupt you guys. Lighting? Sorry. Uh, you're chocolate, you're chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we, the groups who are involved are working on everything from sustainable agriculture to urban gardening to economic power and the power of corporations. Um, and we started this process kind of to respond to the government's national food plan, um, which began a couple of years ago. Um, so the government has started this um, process of um, ostensibly kind of looking at how we need to change Australia's food system you know, going forward. Um, but really what that process has ended up being has been heavily industry dominated um, sort of dominated by, you know, the likes of Coles and Woolworths and that kind of stuff. Um, and really doesn't pro propose any um, changes to the way the system is. It's really very much business as usual. Um, constitutional. So, sorry? Did you say constitutional? The, the process that the government has been involved in is, is really kind of um, pr proposed very much business as usual. You know? Oh, business as usual. Sorry, I thought yeah. you said constitutional. We may have to move, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Um, we can go, I think, down to the station. Yeah. 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 Really? Initiated this People's Food Plan process as a way of responding to what the government was doing um, on the basis that we would want to present some genuinely um, transformative proposals for change, um, something that would really uh, involve changing the food system and, and moving us away from what we're doing at the moment. Um, and we also wanted the process to be consultative, and we, what we wanted people to be able to have um, input into what's happening because. Again, the government's process has not been, in our opinion, sufficiently dissipatory. Um, so, yeah, um, what we've done uh, is over the last few months, we've put together a discussion paper which kind of um, looks at various issues, like so the issues I was talking about before, sustainable agriculture, economic power, urban planning, um, issues around things like land use and, and mining and these kinds of things. Um, and we've drafted yeah, this document that sort of talks about what some of the problems are and what we think are appropriate proposals for dealing with some of those problems. Um, and what we're doing in these forums is taking that document out and giving people an opportunity to um, either comment on the document um, and or um, suggest um, your own ideas for um, policy changes. So um, Katarina mentioned before that we'd love to see more education around healthy eating in, in schools. That's one of the things that we've talked about, and so you might want to comment on that part of the paper. Mm -hmm. um, and other people might have, like I know Jace is working on mining, um, that's something that we've talked about, that farmland should be protect, identified and protected from stuff like mining development and um, urban development and that sort of thing. Um, so, water and the water. Sorry? And, and the water, water, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. Yeah, so um, I guess what I was going to suggest is um, uh, this kind of a couple of ways we can do this. If people are feeling, I, I suspect not, but it's up to you guys, if, if people are feeling inspired to want to look at the longer document, um, we can do that. Maybe we can choose like um, one part of the longer document. They're, they're only about two pages each section. So if someone's really inspired about um, sustainable agriculture, for example, and wants to look at that section and make comments on it, that would be great. Otherwise, um, um, we've, I've got like a summary here that goes through um, the kind of key issues that are dealt with in the discussion paper. So we could have a look at that and then folks could um, talk about whether you have like other proposals that you think we should consider, um, like the one that Rick had already mentioned before. Um, equally, um, we, we're interested in hearing people's like, personal stories of experiences with the food system, so um, you know, your own experiences about why you think the food system needs to change, like you know, why you think um, the cold and wool stew up and use a problem or you know where you've seen farmland threatened by mining or if you're involved in a community garden and there are things in that process that you know have been problematic and you think should be changed for whatever reason we want to hear about that. <laughs> so, but why hasn't it changed already? Yeah yeah these are the things we want yeah. to change. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a really good question. Um, Probably answer that. So what I might do, I'll pass these summaries around and we can just go through that 
it's only two pages. Um, kind of like lobbying stuff isn't necessarily going to do much as much as some sort of cultural I, I way to like what I mean is like it, like is it not possible to make like a, a whole bunch of 
videos or some sort of art or whatever to inject into the, the, the cultural zeitgeist, the idea of growing your own shit. Because like one ad you'll never see on TV is a dude just pulling an apple off a tree. Going, oh, oh you can't get fresher than that. We're the fresh food people. In North America, they're grafting fruit onto the trees in the streets in San Francisco. So there's fruit actually growing in the streets. And it's a bit I'm grabbing it. Yeah. How smart is that? There's so it's many it's freeloading trees yes. that don't produce shit growing out there. What we could do later on, because can, can I just say that? I think if we, I'm really sort of inspired. I, think I could look through every one of these documents yeah. and say there's stuff that we can spend hours on pragmatically and get involved and do it, including like that point there. I really feel like inspired that we should meet again, again, maybe soon. Again, in, for example, your idea, let's go out and plant some sweet potato in all these patches. Let's go plant food. And sick because it'll grow up. You can go wild along the train line and go all in, like there's heaps of places where food will grow. If we go gorilla grow, right, that could be something we do. Yeah, right. And then all of these things we do, if we come together, because I feel like all of these, personally, I felt like all of these things are big motherfucking issues of getting fucked on every flank, like you were saying. But then if we all come together collectively and we go with your idea and then we go with all of your ideas, you know, say it's education on food, you know, which is really important, we go out together. We go to the markets or something like that and we educate people about food. And then we tie it in and say, look, we're also involved in food sovereignty, you know, the protection of our environment, these are all good things, and bring more people into it and just like, because this is, for me, I really love Occupy, it's been important, but growing food is the biggest revolutionary act, I think, at the moment. And water, yeah. and water of course, water, like, like you were saying before, like the fluoride, fluoride is one thing, but that's, that's it. But, that's what I was saying with glyphosate. A lot of people go fluoride or you're a conspiracy theorist, even though Nobel medical laureates are saying this shit's bad. Yeah, it's unbelievable yeah. Yeah, fluoride. Yeah. Like, the, 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 there's a drum with the skull and bones on it yeah. that yeah. they're pouring into the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're a tinfoil hat conspiracy yeah. guy. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. this is about shit. Yeah. There's strontium, the radioactive yeah. byproduct of the nuclear. Yeah. There's strontium That's in fluoride and it is, it's, it's rat poison. Yeah. It's, it's classified as rat poison. For sure, for sure. Oh, boys, there you go. Maybe we can That's come again and, and deal with that issue as well. So I think like if we get a think tank on these issues on food security, food sovereignty, come back again, like we can show it the flesh out. That's actually one of the things that um, one of the other things that we want to do before everybody goes this evening is um, get everyone's contact details who would like to keep in touch with the project and who is interested in working on stuff in the future because the idea of this is that it's the first step in the process to building a bigger movement. We need unity. We need unity. And all, at all times, we need unity. We want, you know, if this is going to work, because everyone is just thinking here, like, let's Sure, <coughs> like Sean's saying, if we, if we get split and distracted by all these issues, then I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm not confirming any that we just need to take down the Parliament House, occupy Parliament, and start a true community. Well, we can definitely yeah, be a bigger movement for that. Yeah, we definitely need a bigger movement. Yeah. 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 Yeah, let's think about what's the most. Uh, my view is probably that it's a, not. We don't quite have the time that we need to go through the document yeah. unless there's something that someone's really inspired to look at. Um, one particular section that people are really interested in, um, and I think like as uh, is it Jared? Sorry, no, Shane. Shane um, was kind of pointing out that actually a lot of the issues people are concerned about cut across a lot of the sections really like from economic power to sustainable agriculture and so on. Yeah, because all this, like, like I just get this thing where, like, whenever I read, like, you know, government and, you know, fair trade and stuff, I mean, like, like, I think you can just, like, why try and mess around with that kind of system when you can just uh, make it redundant, you know? Like, maybe growing your own food is, like, iTunes to the CD industry. Yes. You know what I mean? People, people do, I mean, we can go around and fill your Greek uncle's back garden how he does it, you know? sustaining this family for the last 50 years. Yeah, the so original solar panel. There's another, there's another doco out there recently about this, uh, these black neighborhoods. I think it's in Detroit. And they all started growing all these community gardens together. And that's really taken off. Maybe we should all get together and watch that kind of movie. Yeah, that's um, a good idea. And like, that's a classic example. They're taking up the vacant lots and planting food. You know what I mean? Like, and let's do that as much as possible. And then even if we've got media attention and someone rips up all this food, that's also highlighting this problem because no one knows. Everyone's, everyone looks and like p people treat their lawn like, but that's like them conditioned to do that shit. Yeah, that's food yeah, right there. Like yeah. it's not meant to be lawn. Yeah. America spends more money on lawn than, than any other crop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, what the fuck are we doing? Oh, we're out of our minds. Yeah, it's true. We are. So um, 
I feel like I've got a lot of really great ideas, um, and it would be really great. The best for me, the best thing for us to be doing at the moment would be to capture them. I've got like a bunch of pieces of paper that um, I would kind of ideally like you guys to kind of like yourself down. Is that okay? Like, if yep. you guys could, for some of that stuff about like you know um, building networks to promote urban urban gardening, like through you know showing these films or kind of um, going out and doing stuff like. Yeah, but those are the kinds of things we'd like to kind of... Media with the yeah, some like, like, independent journals like Independent Australia or Independence. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, politicians that aren't corrupt, like, I don't know, are there any? This is the problem. This is the problem. This is the big issue. It's the politicians and the corporations that are this together. They're not, it's not even that they're in it together, it's just human stupidity. Like, it's just like, we're a Stone Age animal not built for civilization like like our monkey brain isn't designed for this train shit like that we're in right now like we're trying to run like windows 7 on a commodore 64 you know it's not anyone's fault it's just like shit all this is the background that could work people used to actually grow their own food they took pride in growing their own food. and it, there's an intentional effort to hijack our the control of our food yeah. And it's like it's written in it's written in the World Health Health Organization. I think what's the name for it? It's not the Codex Alimentarius. Okay. That's okay. one of the things. Okay. But Monsanto bring it because today's International Occupy Monsanto Day. They have it on their website. 2020 is when they want to control the whole world's food supply. They stated that. They're storing food now. So those dudes are fucking saving. And like they stated, they want to control food. They're doing it actively. They right. also own the world's biggest private military. This is what so they're not is, mucking around. This is what this is about. Yeah, some of the things that like we might think about in terms of how to challenge some of that. Um, again, like some of the proposals that have been made already in the plan that you guys might want to make, like um, indicate your support for are things like restrictions on GM. Um, and there's no GM. No, 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 well, GM. no so, GM. Again, this is no one, of the, GM. one of the reasons that I'm saying this is because it would be great if you guys feel like have a ban on GM, it'd be great if you could contribute that, because there's a bit of a debate um, about for, amongst people sort of in the Food Sovereignty Alliance about whether we should be saying we want to ban GM, or whether we should be arguing for things like um, legislation that protects farmers from contamination instead of a ban. Um, so if you guys feel like a ban is the appropriate thing to be yes. asking for, it'd be great to indicate that. Yeah. No science in our future. Yeah, I reckon, we should, I reckon this will be a more fruitful discussion if we kind of... Maybe